Christine Horn. You are watching Actors Daily Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. I am Christine Horn, professional working actress of 20 plus years and a life and career coach for actors just like you. Come on in the room. This is Actors Daily Bread, episode 204. The topic tonight <clears throat> is this can't be your first time. This can't be your first time. I'm live on Instagram. What's up, Instagram? I'm live on Facebook. Keep it glossy. To all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. Man, it's been like 204 episodes of y'all all in my grill. <laughs> good evening, good evening on this birthday's eve of mine. Um, I wanted to pop on real quick. As we prep for the launch of Bookmore TV coming January 1st, get into it. Keep your ears open for it. Um, as you come on on Facebook or on um, Instagram, say hi. Give me a wave. Hey, Marilee. Um, You know, I wanted to just talk about the other day we had a nice little provocative uh, live, episode 203, if you missed it. Um, please go back and watch it. It was basically, it was called F the Lines. It was really great. And I got such great feedback from so many of you. Thank you for that. Even tagged today that people have been booking. I got tagged on Instagram. Shout out to Tony Rossi, who uh, tagged me just a little while ago on Instagram. Um, was re watching the replay. I really appreciate it. Um, uh, and so thank you for that. And I'm glad it's making a difference. And I just want you to keep thinking about it. This feedback is helpful. Um, shout out to the, the sister on YouTube who told me she enjoyed my videos, but all the shout outs were a bit annoying. Uh, and I let her know that I enjoy showing love and letting you all feel seen and heard and appreciated. So, oh, oh well, <laughs> I'm not going to stop shouting out people. Come on in the building. So yes, yes, yes. Hey, Lisa Sanchez Sullivan. Um, so here we go. Let's get into it tonight. So I've been thinking about as we prep for book more TV and I'm like prepping content for, for what I'm going to teach in January is what are the, some, what are some of the state, some of the mistakes? What are some of the hiccups? Where do I see you guys struggling a bit when I do get to coach you one-on-one? -on -one? Um, those of you who have worked with me or in a group setting and it hit me today because, um, I was guilty of it. Ah, I know. I would like to pretend that I'm perfect, but we all know that is not true, right? Um, I think what makes me a, a great coach is that I'm in the trenches with you, and I learn as I go. And sometimes I just, I be like, ah, Christine, you should have known. You should have known too blank. And so today, I'm, my the title of this live is "This Can't Be Your First Time." And here's what I'm talking about: when you go to an audition. And I'm going to really lean into the in-person ones because when you're doing a self-tape or at a studio, you have a bit more um, leeway there. What's up, Pierce? What's up, Dave? What's up, Rose? Right? Um, hey, Mr. Lima. Um, but when we're in person, there's not that room. You get, you may get one chance, one time, and that's it. And so this can't be your first time is this can't be your first time hearing another human read these lines, say these lines to you. I feel like Carol Burnett, Carol Burnett right now <laughs> talking on my ear, but it's so true. So here's what I'm saying. When we are just, and look, I'm a, the queen of giving of telling people, um, record the lines, create the character. If you, um, if you have my, uh, get books, playbook, Instagram, click the link in my bio. You can get the get book playbook. It's a freebie. Um, and I'm all about record the lines, see the cat. We talked about creating character a couple of days ago. Um, we talked about all that, but in that process, if you do not hear another voice other than your own, you are guaranteed to be thrown. Now your level of thrownness, <laughs> that word, your level of thrownness may vary. Like, it happened to me today. I wasn't thrown like, ah, oh, damn, I messed up my audition. It wasn't that. But I did recognize that I just, I just heard it different in my ear. And that reader who's reading with you, whether it's the casting director, the associate, or an intern, or, you know, 
is, is can't possibly ever measure up to what you imagined because they're not in your brain and they don't sound like you. And so I hear some of my clients saying, especially my clients in my inner circle, sometimes they'll say, Christine, it, I got thrown by this. I envisioned this, or I envisioned it sounding like this. And we have to, I always say, be fluid like water. You got to be able to go with the flow. You got to like have that motion of the ocean. You got to be able to just come ready to play, right? But here's a, just a little tip. And I didn't do it today because it was kind of a last minute thing. And I just did my thing. And I'm not saying this makes or breaks your audition. Let's be clear. But I'm also saying I know when I'm better. I know when I'm better, period. So even if you're by yourself, solo dolo, you ain't got nobody to read with you, you have a friend, you have a trusted friend. It could be your aunt, could be your cousin, could be your mom, your man, your wife, right? Send them the script. Even if they're not with you, email it to them. Like someone who's trusted, right? Who's not going to like put the script online. And I know this is probably like people think this is a no-no, but between us, just so even if they're just reading with you on the phone, just so you can hear another voice for the first, because the first time doing anything is always a little weird. It's always a little awkward, right? My grownups, are we with, are you, are you hearing me? Right? So sometimes you're having that first time moment in the room with casting and associates watching you. And it can be an out of body experience because you did not prep fully. So it's all so new. So you're having these new, you're having these new freaking um, it, it, uh, reactions and like, oh, it sounds like that. I didn't expect her to say it that way. I didn't expect him to say it that way. It's a guy. It's a woman. Like, oh, oh. And that is showing up through your eyes. That is showing up on the camera. Are y'all picking up what I'm putting down? The newness of it all is so new and exciting. It also can be a whirlwind. So this isn't even a situation where I'm saying you're nervous and you got bubble guts and you messing up. No, you could still be like me today. I was cool. Like I just did my scene and had my world that I created. The kitchen was here, but still I remember I left the room like, thank you guys so much. And I had one of those moments today. I was like, what happened? What? I need to do that again. But they didn't give me that again option, boo. They were like, thank you. That's, that's all we need. With a smile. Because I didn't tank. I booked the room. But me personally, I dissect stuff, right? This is my job. I have to do this so I can get better and then I can teach you. Me personally, I was like, oh, I would, it just got in my body. See, when y'all tape, see, this is why I love to teach about self-taping, but I don't want you to get so, um, what's the word, uh, dependent on take after take after take after take after take, because that's the beauty you have when you're self-taping or at a studio. Even if you bought 30 minutes or bought an hour of time, you know you can do it again. And so those first few, oftentimes when I'm taping at home, it is rare that I use the first take. It's usually the last take of every scene. That's the one I'm using if I'm just sending one take. Maybe you guys can feel me, right? So let me know what you're thinking about this. Like, have you ever felt like you've been in the room and it feels like an out of body experience, right? So that's what it felt like. It just felt out of body, it wasn't bad. So that's my thing. So that's what today's episode is called. This can't be your first time. The first time you're just pay paying attention to so many other things. And then you want to do it again, but I'm here to rip the bandaid off and tell you, boo, you can't, you don't always get a second time. So how about we show up already hearing those lines? How about we get that friend, our spouse, our cousin, uh, uh, poo poo and them. I don't know. Nobody named poo poo. I don't know why I even said that. <laughs> Cause I don't think I want poo poo reading for me, but um, let's just get it. Let's hear it first. So this is beyond this is beyond you and your voice recorder. This is another human being because it may even spark something. If you're truly being present, if, I'm, if you're truly being present and you're truly in the scene, um, that's, that's all you wanna focus on is being present. And when you're really present, anything can sway you. You're still fighting for the objective. You're still fighting for what you want. But wow, the way he said that, or the way she said that just brought this up in me. And uh, well, now I'm hearing it different. So my delivery's different. 
and this is also the fun in it too. This is why we, this is why we have to show up like water to be fluid because when we're really present, we got to go with the flow and we can't be stuck on, I was planning to say it this way. All right. I hope you found this helpful. Again, this is episode 204 of Actors Daily Bread. If you enjoyed this, tell a friend. Don't be stingy. Share the video. Hit like. Make sure you subscribe to me somewhere, wherever you enjoy watching videos. I'm all, I'm on all of them. <laughs> Have an amazing night. I'm going to get ready to review some client tapes and then walk Prince. Prince is my big bull mastiff sweetheart. And um, I'm probably gonna do a bit more work tonight. It's 6.14, I'll probably work until about 8.30 because tomorrow's my birthday and I don't wanna do anything work-related <laughs> other than daydream about what I plan on manifesting in this new year around the sun. I love you guys, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for letting me be a, a, um, a spark of light in your world, right? Remember, you have a gift that the world needs to see, so let them see it, bye.